Hi, welcome back to Linux. Today we're going to look at configuring an FTP server. Now this server we're going to be using is VS FTP D, which is the very secure FTP daemon. You remember from the other classes where we discussed daemon is some type of service that runs in the background. What's the objective of this lab? Well, we should be able to see how an FTP service works. That's a file transfer protocol service works. And we'll be able to transfer something over. First thing we'll need to do is get uh, VS FTPD. So the way we'll do that is app get install. I'll do a sudo app get install. And I'll download that right now to my PC. While that's downloading, we can go over and we can see if the service is running or not. So we can uh, sudo over. sudo s. And we'll start running a couple of commands here. It is running. And where are some notes? So a new user account called FTP has been automatically created. We can check that over in cat etsy passwd and grep FTP. And we can see that one does now exist. The home directory is SRV FTP. Let's check that out. And it is SRV FTP. And it has no shell, so it can't log in. The most important configuration file is etsy vsftpd.com. If you remember, anything in the etsy directory is a global configuration file. So whenever we go in there, we'll need to be root to ch change anything. And we can see that configuration file right there. Moving on down. By default, we'll use uh, FTP and no password to get into the FTP server. And we'll create a file called FTP test in the serve FTP directory of the server. So let's go ahead and create FTP test. Well, actually, I think they want us to try to create it. Uh, maybe they want us to create it before. Okay, let's go ahead and create FTP test in the sorry, SRV FTP directory. See if anything's in there. Nothing's in there. So we'll touch, or we'll say, what's the date? So we'll pop the date into FTP test. Now, if we cat FTP test, that's today's date. Let's start the lab. So, as a user object here, I'm going to go ahead and type FTP to localhost. In this case, I'm typing localhost. Um, you can see that this, this teacher typed FTP and then the IP address. You can type the name if you're going to your local computer, localhost, or you can type the IP address. All right, it says, what's our name? And the name we're going to choose is FTP right here. And the password's going to be blank. We're going to see if this works. FTP and blank. We're going to see if it actually lets me in. And it says, no, it's not going to let me in. Um, and that's possibly because the configuration is not, not set to allow um, FTP logins. So let's look at the configuration and find out that if maybe we have something that is preventing us from logging in. So I'm going to quit FTP here. I'm going to type sudo vi etsy vsftpd.conf. That's that important file we mentioned earlier. So I can see we have listen there, and there's something here. Anonymous enable, no. Well, logging in as FTP actually is like an anonymous enable, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll say yes. So I'm going to save that file. I changed it inside of VI. Feel free to use nano or whatever your favorite editor is. I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to restart the service FTP. Actually, VS FTPD. Alrighty, we restarted the service and now we're going to try to FTP back over to localhost. The name we're going to use is FTP, blank password, and sure enough, we can get in now. So we'll type right here, present working directory, it wants to see that, so PWD. We'll type ls, get a, a listing of our directory contents, we can see FTP test there. We can type cd srv FTP, see if we can actually get back to the root directory and back into FTP. See if it lets us do that. And it says no. If you notice, our present working directory 
it says is the root directory. So it's actually telling us that we're in root, although we're not. So this is a fake root directory. We can do this uh, through a number of different ways, but VSFTP is protecting our system by telling us that serve FTP, that SVR FTP, is actually the root directory itself. So let's go ahead and I think the next thing we want to do is get the FTP test there. FTP test.txt. And there we go. You can see that we got it. It was successful. It did it in binary mode. The transfer is complete. It took zero seconds. And after that, I believe we're just going to exit. So, exit. Now if I look over here and I cat FTP test, let's see if it's there. I now have the FTP test in my directory. So you can see that that is now in my directory. So I did download a file via FTP. Given you'll probably usually use FTP inside of a browser if you ever use FTP at all. So inside of a browser, we would go FTP colon slash slash localhost. And then we would see index of slash, which is the root of our directory, and FTP test, the file I created right there. So if we go back over, and I sudo dash s become root, cd to svr FTP, oops, no, that's right, I think, S SRV, SRV FTP, <laughs> should have known that. Okay, and FTP test. So if I make something here, and I say touch, Hello world, uh, world.txt. I'll go refresh my browser, and there we go. We have hello world, which is blank, so it's blank. There's nothing in it. But that's an FTP site. You can see it's really easy to set up, and uh, it's already working right off the bat. So we'll scroll down here. We'll see if there's anything else we want. And I think that's it. We were able to uh, log in and transfer files as our user object. So there's uh, we are not doing any put commands, so looks like we're all good. Down here, in the, locate the below directives and uncomment them. This is in the VSFTP comp, so we can write those and we can do, um, we'll enable local writing for those. But I don't think we're doing anything that actually requires that right now. It looks like just get operations. So you've just set up an FTP server. It's ready to serve files. Once again, those are the files. If we wanted to put anything else there, touch new file.txt, go over here, and there it is. If we want to get to it, I'm going to exit, type FTP to localhost, I'm going to log in as FTP, look at the directory contents, and notice there are the files. I hope this helped. If you need any help in the future, please contact me anytime.